皮破皮破皮破皮破，开帕萨萨帕西瓦德多。Welcome to Crime Time News. First thing that is popping in the news is about an incident that occurred in a place called Waterhouse a couple of days ago, in which three persons got caught up allegedly by the poor poor. Out of those three, one of them did not make it. If you look at your screen, this is the one that did not make it. His name is Sheldon. Sheldon is from a place called Top Gola that is in Augustown. Sheldon used to drive taxi from Augustown, Papin era to wherever. However, I guess Sheldon thought that the taxi business was not making enough money, so therefore he wanted to diversify his portfolio. He wanted to get some more money. He wanted those riches, that quick rich, shatter kind of lifestyle. However, like you see, he is a young youth. He did not live any life. He just had a child that is about three months or so. So therefore, he passed away at a young age and he left a child with a mother that is going to have to struggle. Now, people, here is the thing. How this man got himself in a predicament that he got himself into. There's a war in a water house between Westside and Capture. That war started, the latest war started from a man whose name is Decker. He had three gunmen son. Him filed for them. Them reached a United States. Them left a toll. Them left a toll with a youth name Bounty. Bounty and Decker, three sons, they are from Westside. Bounty then left the toll or lent a toll to an uncle of his named Neros Curtis. Curtis decided that he don't want to give back the toll, so therefore, Bounty and him friend them lay with Neros' car, bust the tire. Then, when Neros' son was taking the car to the tire shop with the paw paw, then blaze up Neros' son. So therefore, Neros came back and pretty much tried some sort of reprisal. So therefore, when the poor poor reached on the scene, it is because they were summoned. They were called because Neros and some people in our car, three people plus himself, was coming for a reprisal. So therefore, the poor poor pretty much get caught up in some sort of shootout already in process. So that is where Sheldon lost his life. Moral of the story to this is that whenever you are working, it is not a fast pace. It is a struggle. However, sometimes if you stick with it, you might get better. The possibilities are it's, it's going to take a little longer time for you to reap success. However, in the criminal life, it is fast money, easy come, easy go, and that includes your life. It includes your freedom. So therefore, let this be a lesson to all of you aspiring criminals out there. Leave the fast money alone or else you're going to get a fast D-E-A-T-H. Just like Sheldon. Point blank and period. Now the next thing that is popping in the news is an update about a story that I spoke about a couple of years ago. 2018, 2019 to be specific. I am speaking about a young man. His name is Gaston Brown. 42 year old. Top smuggler from Jamaica. He was in the United States illegally. He was smuggling cocoa from LAX International Airport to New York JFK John F. Kennedy Airport. Based on what the Paul Paul said, the Fed said between 2015 2016, he made at least six trips. He was held with 60 pounds of cocoa, estimated 27 kilograms, so 27 bird. This incident occurred on March of 2016, and here is where we're going to talk about Marsha Gay Reynolds. This is her picture on the screen right here. Marsha Gay Reynolds is a Jamaican, so is Mr. Brown. Marsha Gay Reynolds was a beauty queen from Jamaica turned flight attendant working for JetBlue. 
Marsha Gay Reynolds met Mr. Brown and they became business partners. The fact that Marsha Gay, she was a flight attendant, she had to go through very little security screening because of the fact that she was vetted. So therefore Mr. Brown met Marsha Gay back in about 2014, pre-2015 and he gave her a proposal of money. However, on one of those trips, like I said, March 2016, Marsha Gay, she left from LAX International and she landed at JFK in New York. She had a luggage, look at your screen right here. In that luggage was 60 pounds, 27 lakh. She thought that it was going to be a regular day. She just passed with the luggage, with the cocoa, meet her people, give them them thing, pick up her thousands of dollars. However, this trip, because of all of what is going on in America, they decided that they want to secondary screen her. She was not prepared for this. Pretty much, if you look on your screen, this is her with the luggage. When she realized she was going to get screened, she let go the luggage. She kicked off her Gucci shoes and she ran up the escalator that was going down. She took away her foot and she ran in the cold. Well, March 2016, not very cold. However, she knows that she couldn't escape in any sorts of Gucci heels. She took away herself. However, a couple of days later, she turned in herself with her lawyer, with the advice of her family members. She was locked up. She get locked up in 2018. The case, she plea bargain, conspiracy to possess, conspiracy to distribute. However, she got time served. People, listen to me. Time served for 60 pounds, 27 lakh is a sweet deal. That means that somebody is pretty much talking. Somebody is giving information as to where the coco came from. Who is the kingpin? Who is the mastermind? Like I said, it was a 42 year old man. His name was Mr. Brown. So pretty much the feds them catch Mr. Brown. Marsha Gay Reynolds got time served. Very little time. That means that she made a sweet deal. She was going to be the state evidence. However, as it pertains to Mr. Brown, 42 year old, he received the other day at sentencing. 14 years. 14 years is equivalent to 165 months. In the federal system, you have to do 85%. So therefore, one of you mathematics geek in my comment section can tell me how much time this man is going to do at age 42. When him come out, he is going to be 50 something. So therefore, is it worth it? Now people, the truth and the fact is that whenever you see an individual smuggling 60 pounds, 27 lakh in one case, one go, you know that this person is no petty dealer. You know that this person has big connections. I am speaking about La Castra Nostra. I talk about the mafiosa. I talk about the cartel kind of link. So therefore, he is making big, big money. However, you have to ask the question, why didn't he straighten out himself? Why was he in America illegal? And people, more than likely, this man was more than likely busted before, got deported, to Jamaica and then come back because the money was so sweet. Now people, when it comes to these beautiful girls like Marsha Gay Reynolds, there are the pros and there are the cons. The pros is that the fact that she is beautiful, the fact that she has that innocent face, the fact that most importantly, she's a airline stewardess, airline ear hostess, that means uh, she have access. She could usually pass through 
regularly. However, people, you know, say, there's a thing that is called random check. Secondary screening. She was not expecting that. So therefore, when she hear secondary screening, and if you look at your screen right now, you will see when she buck up on the screening. And you could see the shocking look in her face. So therefore, she dropped the bag and she take her herself. However, when she run, she knew that, all right, these people have my information, them have my social, they know exactly who I am. I am not a hardened criminal. I just like money because of greed. I got myself in this. I was looking at the good. However, I was not thinking about what could go wrong. However, when wrong come, she could not deal with it. She run for the hills. She run up the escalator, up a downward escalator. And people, she take care of herself. However, when she call her family and explain what had happened and how is it that they see her dress up in all of this Gucci, this Prada, this Prada, that. And tell them, say, listen, mommy, you know, so I make a mistake. I know so I grow me good. However, I want the hype. I want the quick money. I want the fast money that the, they call it JetBlue occupation could not give me. So therefore, I wanted to diversify my portfolio. I want the money. I want the shoes. I want the pretty car. I want to pop the champagne them in at the club. However, I was not bargaining for the bad times. I was not bargaining that I was going to be held by the feds. Held at the airport in New York. So therefore, what can I do? Get me a lawyer so therefore we can make a deal. So therefore, that is what she do. So my point is this. The pretty girl em, can buck the system, beat the system, look very innocent. However, when anything goes down, they are quick to talk because they are going to save thine self point blank and period.